Just thought I'd give you a short update. Three bright in colour grid, uh, only three notches down in brightness because I think even with the sun out, uh, four notches down, it seems to be a little bit bright. Okay, uh, presidential debate um, is tonight and we'll watch it tomorrow morning about 11.30. I just thought I'd go in here. Some of these pots here are starting to... Um, oh, I should go off to spot Cullen, shouldn't I? What I'm doing from this. Okay, spot Cullen. Some of these are starting to grey out in the bottom there. In, in the, especially, I don't know if you can see that, so that might add a difference. It's starting to, uh, so you basically, what is it, Kenning, that's the 2nd of August, what what date was this one? If I can see it rapidly, see it's starting to grey out on, on, the, on the base there, so you know, I'll fix it up in a minute, but, uh, so I'll keep an eye on that. Out here, these cuttings, I uh, took, the ones with the leaves on seem to be hanging on better. The ones that were actually stabbed into the ground slightly on one end seem to be a little bit better, so maybe you need a combo of both having leaves and putting one end into the ground slightly. But uh, I quite like the, the soil starting to look all right. Yeah, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Dandelion, yes. And yeah, I just bought these recently because um, you know the sun was getting a bit intense. So there you go, back to 49 area, I think. Uh, okay, yeah, starting to, these dandelions are starting to come on, especially in the centre. Oh, did I not? Yeah, so really coming on rapidly and fattening up in the centre. So if we can transfer that over to um, CPs. Yeah, Saracini coming, starting to put up stalks. Uh, we might have a bad season this season. This one settling down back into like a central. Where is it? So uh, mm, interesting. Keep an eye on that one. Another downy line going okay. Uh, the capes are sort of, you know, no, oh, they're okay. I mean, they're good for taking cuttings, I suppose. But this is all set, set up, ready to go. I've done a pot, maybe we do another pot, and I'll set it up later on. And that'll probably be in the next clip. Got to go out and get some more sand because I've run out of sand. So. So I can't make it up straight away. This one, yeah, I don't know. Coming along, so hmm, hits and misses. Yeah, rhubarb still going. Blah blah blah. The new one that is. This one's also in there, so you know, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully I'll put all this work now knowledge into a formulation that I'll set up there for on there for summer and see how we go. Uh, before we try and get into tissue cocktail. If it works on there then it's just a one small stepping stone into tissue culture jars, hopefully. And that's when the revolution will begin, I think, when you can actually do that out there on the, on the boxes and also in some jars in like you know, a new form of tissue culture. But you can see this one over in here. Can you see this? I've got to spot Cullen. Um, where is he? Uh, yeah, spot Cullen. In there, it's greening up on the edge there. So it's taken a while. So the, the, the more sand or the less the less formula, that's <laughs> the faster it gets to green up. So, uh, yeah, so the formula is actually holding back, it's greening up, sort of thing. And as I said, it only seems to be like on the surface, so you can see that there, as we learnt from this one here and probably that one over there. So, interesting surface biofilm layer, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, this one's interesting. I've got, um, where is it? Yeah, that one there, I've got, um, if you can see that, it's a, um, what do you call it? A she oak or um, casuarina, an actinorhizal uh, tree. So, yeah, and this one here, I don't know if you can see that, but ah, it's really looking healthy. If I could do something like that for CP, I'd be really happy, you know. So, I think we're heading there. It's just you've got to pull all this knowledge together and uh, whack it into a pot, get things working in a purely mineral sand soil to meet the international standard, and then small stepping stone into tissue culture using copper as a base of course that's why copper door handle you know, handle door knobs used to be made of copper because you know it's antimicrobial it's not as good as mercury but it's pretty good <laughs> mercury is absolutely fantastic you just need a very small amount and it will just sort of go through a jar and just clean out all the all the nasties you don't have to do any work at all it's really yeah, really fantastic but of course it's not an environmentally friendly so, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll see how we go. But this clip's coming to an end, 45 seconds. Maybe we'll have a quick.
quick squeeze in the box to run this thing here? I don't know. I'm still waiting for these ones here to, to trigger off, you know? You know, I'm hoping they're going to trigger off soon and we'll get some results, but, uh, you know, it's taking longer than I think it is going to do. Mine, maybe, because it's got to get to that sort of greying out stage. But, yeah, I've got some seedlings on there. I don't know. Are we actually in spot colour now? Let's see. Yeah, we're on spot colour. Let's see if we can actually do this thing. I've got some seedlings. They all seem to be pings, though, I think. I think. I don't know what that is, if you can see that. But, uh, yeah. Quite a few 